Purple rain, purple rain. Hi, right, welcome back to Front Street. I'm your co-host, John Labrada. This is the other one. Uh, Mr. Moreno, a.k.a. Jaime, a.k.a. The Man. A.k.a. The Big Dog. The Big Dog. Today we have two guests. This we is have, a first for us. This is a first. We have... Yes. Miss Albear. Speaking to the mic. Miss Albear. Okay, good. Miss Albear. And then we have... Maya Jones Garza. It's M M J G. I thought it was M G J. No. I thought it was Maya Garza Jones. No. M J G. John Garza. I, I like MJG. This is your new nickname. New nickname alert. That's my uh, Snapchat. MJG. Uh, before we go into the questions, tell us about yourself. A little bit. Give me a little bit of background of of a boogie. New nickname alert. A boogie. Oh, a boogie. Good gracious. Uh, well, I'm from here. The water? Yes. No. Oh. <laughs> I was like, you water fam? I, I was. I was grew up in Southern Brazoria County. Right. I moved Creek? off. No, I moved oh. off um, a few times and keep coming back. So this is Dubsy? this is where life is. No, Angleton, calm down. Oh, H town, baby. Pride <laughs> <Wow. laughs> never dies. But so I'm the mental health counselor on campus. Word. Yeah. Go ahead, sis. Um, MJG. There's nothing much about me. I just I've been here my whole life. What grade are you in? I'm a senior. Woo-hoo. Bro, it's March the tenth. I'm so sure. Isn't that wild? There's a countdown in Miss Adil's classroom. Right. And today it said 49 days. That's wild, days. fam. That's it. wild. I don't want to graduate. I don't like it. Yeah? I don't want to graduate. Hmm. I, mm. I have mixed feelings. Yeah. You will when the time comes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. 100%. I, I enjoyed it, but I was ready. Yeah. I had an extra year. Mm. So I was like, I'm yeah. done. Well, yeah. What? Yes. If I had an extra year, I'd be mad. Well, I wasn't mad. I, like... Since I, for those that haven't heard this story, I dropped out my junior year. Then I went back to school at the end of it to re enroll, and then I was a senior. So it's like I didn't really, I didn't miss out because I was basically gone from like January on. So it was like, I'm redoing my year. Yeah. All right. This is how we do this. This is how we do things, I should say. Uh, we're going to ask a couple questions <clears throat> because y'all are our guests. Y'all will go first on this. Um, you're going to do your very best to answer the questions, and then me and G will give our perspective. On our questions on this, mm-hmm. are we going to go serious first? Funny, 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 serious, funny, 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 serious. How, how do we, we go to, like? You want to bookend it, or do you want to? How do we do like one, two, three? Just in the same order that we have. All right, here we go. <coughs> Instead of doing like the two, three, one, or three, right, right, two, right. seven, because like, is there seven? I mean, we don't need to do an eight, eight, seven either. That's no, fine. I think one, two, three is fine. Okay, good. Uh, so, what is something that is? Underrated. We've done overrated on the podcast so far. But what's underrated? underrated? Meaning, like you think it should be more important than it is, or we should be doing it. In, instead well, it's something of something that uh, needs more hype. That's right. Deserves more. I agree. All right. Who wants to go first? Apparently, I do. Okay. Yes. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> so one of the things I think that needs more hype, and I'm working on it too, is more outside time. Oh. Uh, Spending time in a different environment. Getting some fresh air. I so believe in this. Um, one of my favorite things to do is like just randomly drive, not with these crazy gas prices, but um, just randomly drive and Me too. explore different roads. But I even agree. just going outside in the middle of the day is nice. Get so. some vitamin sun. I like get it. some vitamin sun. I love purposefully getting lost in my car. Yes. Like just like where am I? I don't know. I'm just driving. I also suffer from what I am referring to as uh, uh, driving. Uh, uh, hypnosis. Like sometimes I just zone out and I'll just end up in random places. Okay. I'm trying to wonder why how you got there. I'm a blue, a blue uh, uh, tundra. Yeah. My G G ride. Um, no, I love bouncing. I, I like that. It's a good way to disconnect and just kind of free your mind. You're good. Yeah, I would add the caveat of not with your electronics. No. Get technology out of that and just be outside. You can have music. Word. I agree. But that's it. Music, drive, good. Right. Unless you're in the forest and a bear could attack you, you probably don't want the music going. And for those that don't drive or can't drive or don't want to drive, just being outside is good. I agree. You know what I miss? I miss seeing kids on bikes. Yes. Ooh, outside. Bikes are good. Bro. Doesn't have it enough. You know what? I totally disagree. There are some kids with bikes on my road. And that are menacing? And they always try to go in front of the car. 
I think you're playing games with me, and it's, it's very uh, well. Okay, it's it's not right. So and there are nice. definitely some menaces out there with their bikes. Oh yeah. No, uh, at CVS after school, when everybody goes to pick up their kids, like kids just walking from the cars, and you're just like stuck. You're like, no, it's a bad. <laughs> I, like I, I like the outside thing. That's a good one. Mike, do you want to go next or do you want one of us to go and you can give a little more time? Well, can I say something that's not underrated but something that I've been like thinking recently that's like go, taking say for granted? It. Okay, so recently I've been thinking, so I've been hearing a lot of um, kids nowadays say like, oh, I want to get out of Freeport and I want to be happy. I want to get a lot of money. I want to get money, 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 money. Yeah. And I feel like everybody takes for granted like spending like time. Like every, we don't have enough time with our family mm-hmm. and I feel like money is not going to make you happy like i feel like working is not going to make you happy like because if you think about back to the times whenever you're happiest i think about like oh whenever i was in my little apartment with my family we were watching movies and now people are like oh i want to be happy i want to get money 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 and i'm I'm with that is underrated though i think spending time with family and doing yes Mm -hmm. i was listening to a different podcast and a guy on there literally said that it was like a question like underrated or overrated and his answer for the overrated was hustle He's like, everybody talks about the hustle, the hustle, the hustle. We got to make this. You got to be big. He's like, why? He's like, at my happiest times, I'm more content when I'm not hustling and enjoying life than I am when I'm hustling because it's a grind. And I'm like, he's so right. I get it. You got to hustle. Like, you got to make. But for what? Right. What's the purpose purpose. of it at the end of it? We don't don't take it with us when we die. You know what I'm saying? Like, why are we going to hustle until we're like, you know what I mean? I feel like that's the people that regret hustling the most. Like, they hustle and they get all their money, and then when they get older, they're like, I wish I would have spent 100%. my hundred percent. MJG, that was a great one. That was, a, that was nice. Yeah. Ours are not going to be this insightful. No, I, I, know, I, know. Like, I heard both of you guys, and I was like, hmm, what could I change it to? No, I'm going to keep my answer. Go ahead. Something that's uh, underrated. underrated, in my opinion, uh, cream soda. Ew. But Okay. Okay, go ahead. Let's hear it. There's no cream sodas in like restaurants or anything like that. I agree. Because it's not very highly known. However, therefore, because of the why. Because of the why. You and the because of the why. This is a G's new thing to say. Because of the why. Because of the why. Yeah. I like cream soda. And whenever I get one, like at some random party, I'll be like, this is nice. And I'll get another one. And then another one. I never tried cream soda. If it was everywhere, you wouldn't see it. That's a great question. Uh, That's a good question. No. No, because I'm very, I stick to the things I like. Like, I get Sprite everywhere I go because I really like Sprite, and it's everywhere. It is right. everywhere. However, therefore, because of the why. <laughs> if there was cream soda everywhere. You would you know, get cream I, soda? I think I would get cream soda. Um, okay. You know what's really good at cream soda-wise? Like, if it's in a bottle. IBC, I think, is the one that does the root beer. Mm-hmm. They also make a bottled cream soda. Yes. It goes hard. It goes I'm, hard. I'm a fountain drink kind of person. Are you really? Mm-hmm. Huh. I like the ice. Uh, I don't like ice. I like fountain drinks, but I don't put I, I don't put a lot of ice in mine. That's my girl right there. I don't like a lot of ice. I put a lot of ice. Yeah, you know why? It's watering down the flavor. Yes, it makes I, it cold and delicious. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It's the water cold and delicious. All right. But okay. Cream soda. Mine's is way off, <clears throat> but mine's is an individual person. And let me explain. I think that most people think in rap, like it's the Drake. He, like Kendrick, actually I agree. I think he's great. I think one of the best underrated rappers of all time is Black Thought from the Roots. You're gonna say who's Black Thought from the Roots? <laughs> Go find any Roots album. The Roots, R O O T S. Black Thought is the like main rapper. Jimmy Fallon. Yes. So currently they're the band for Jimmy Fallon. The dude that's their main guy. Mm-hmm. His name is Black Thought. I have heard ciphers of his, like freestyles of his. I don't think anybody can compete with him. That's my personal opinion. Dang. He is on a whole other level. Let me give you an example. Honestly, those are some very confident words. I'm, I'm saying what I said. See, he's underrated. He is underrated. The Roots will oftentimes be the band for like main acts, mm-hmm. Jay-Z or whatever, right? So let's say they're going to have this big performance at like Madison Square Garden or whatever. The Roots will oftentimes be the band for them. And you know what they tell Black Thought? Mm-hmm. You can't rap. You're not allowed to rap. You can sing. Your band can play. You cannot rap. Because every single one of them are afraid of Black Dot's abilities to rap. I Look up the roots. Everybody who's watching this. That's some conspiracy type stuff. Look up the roots. I'm saying. He is amazing. And nobody gives him any love. 
and they should because the Roots is a whole band. That's like an orchestra with like people who rhyme on top, and he's the main one. He's good. I said what I said. I'm not taking it back. I like the drummer from the Roots. Yeah, Questlove is fantastic. <laughs> also, he has an amazing afro. No, I love that. It's like song. a whole other level, and he has his pick yeah, in between like songs. Amazing. He just like starts picking it out. It's fantastic. Yeah. yeah. All right. Thank you for your underrated. That was a. Those are some really good deep ones. Oh. Yeah, ours was not deep. Sorry. Sorry. Cream soda though. Cream soda. Right. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so I literally have on here LPC in the BPT. What's that mean? As number two. BPT. Right support baby. Beport. Beport. Okay, so we have we have you on here specifically for some, for a couple of reasons, but y'all are doing something that has never been done at Beport, and we're trying to grow this. The both of y'all. What? No, I was just kidding. Okay. <laughs> um, so we want, I want to know so that people who watch this understand what's going on. So we're gonna go back. You're a mental health counselor that we have here. You Correct. are a licensed professional counselor. Correct. And been doing this LPC. And been doing this for over a decade. Yes. Okay. So tell us what y'all are trying to create at Brass's Port that's massively different than anything I've ever heard of. Why you're doing it, what it is, and how people can join up. Go. You gonna go first? She says stuff better than I do. Like I can't put it into words. <clears throat> okay. <laughs> it's the professional counselor thing part. So we are part of a national organization called Bring Change to Mind, the number two. Do you have a logo, uh, like a logo? They do. BC2M. Okay. <laughs> Melina, this is when you put the BC2M in there. Bam. All right, cool. I think right. it's brainchange2mind.org. You have a gang sign for it? No. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Uh, uh, Censor that. <laughs> Continue. The whole premise behind it is to break the stigma and to get people talking about mental health and to give people resources, have the conversation, know where to go, how to help, and just better understand it. Okay. So here on campus, we have created a group because each campus has a group. There's only about four or five schools in Texas that are part of this. Really? So it's a pretty big deal. Um, For the record, this is part of my issue with Texas not spending enough money on mental health. My personal hang up, whatever. Agreed. agreed. Okay. Um, obviously. Yeah. Yeah. So <laughs> obviously I know. So we have a president. MJG. Yes. Um, and we're, our goal. Oh, is she was gonna do a whole like clapping thing. No, I did the clap button, but I was. Really, I don't know if this is a laughing one. Hold on. Oh, oh my God. God. <laughs> she forgets. And our goal is just to um, educate and bring about conversations and, and help. That's dope. So everything from like defining mental health to like talking through situations or how's it yes it? so it's it's not therapy we're not right. doing group therapy in there it's just education so when people say for example like the weather is so bipolar to understand why that we shouldn't make that phrase a thing. right so we can understand bipolar better better and why the weather is not bipolar this is so funny that you're bringing this up it's interesting i have a i'm not like soapboxing on this but i oftentimes dislike when like students are like Ugh. I'm so depressed right I I'm so depressed or that teacher's so bipolar first off if you understood that mental health in its entirety and what it looks like you wouldn't say that correct and most people think they know because they're self-diagnosed or some TikTok that they saw that said this is what it is or some parent you know oh you're so ADD no 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 like before you say that understand what exactly you're saying because then you wouldn't say it Right. As a as a parent, and I'm not this isn't like massive news, but like my son struggles with depression. And even as somebody who understands, I still struggle to cre like a hundred percent understand where he's at. So we try to do our best. But like we couldn't diagnose him. I didn't know how to be like you're hundred percent. We had to go to a psychiatrist and that's that's what you do. You have steps to that. Mm -hmm. I hate when people say I have this or that person is that. Ugh, it's annoying. Also on that, um just kind of in general in the mental health field we're trying to change the wording and the language so it's not like i am depressed but i have depression right mm -hmm. because then it, it doesn't define you just like you would mm. say i am cancer you would say I you would, have yeah right cancer. i have it right oh so that's so good then it also provides hope that you can overcome and power through and right. move forward and not be stuck right in that hmm so why are you a part of this 
Um, well, Miss Albert said uh, that she had picked me because she feels like I can like speak about things more, and I feel like I bring insight because I'm a student and I've gone through a lot of stuff. And it does sometimes it does bother me when I hear students say like, "Oh, bipolar, bipolar," because my dad like he is bipolar, and mm -hmm. I had to go through like a lot of stuff with him. And like, oh, I think I think we talked about it before, but like, um, my dad like. Being around people that talk about bipolar and um, some people that know like the situation with my dad, when they're like, oh yeah, I think I'm bipolar too, or like, oh yeah, he's crazy or stuff like that, it like hurts my feelings. And I right. just, I wish everybody would just take the time to educate themselves right. just so like they can have a better understanding. And if they have like friends or family that are going through stuff, they can help them get help as well. I, 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 very, I wouldn't, okay, so not to be like the uneducated, but I would have never like seen that as super offensive to people. Right. Or even offensive in general. Like I hear that all the time. The whole bipolar thing. The weather is bipolar. Like oh, okay, yeah, it is. Because Texas weather is, is a little is, is a little crazy. It's a little crazy. However, therefore, because of the why, this is interesting. But it's really not because it's consistently changing, right? So we consistently have this kind of up and down. So you talking about the weather? Yes. So well, like until there's crazy. a hurricane that decides to pop up. The weather. It was hailing yesterday. But <laughs> <laughs> <It's true. laughs> going back to what you were saying, though, I think um, that's part of it is just this generation does a really good job about being open and talking about it. Right. But we just need the education behind it. I, I again, could not agree with you more. I love that they're open about it. Absolutely. I despise. They're going to work me out of a job. And right. It's going to be awesome. Right. Be but I don't like how everybody, like, you can see, like, um, it, on anything. Like, somebody can go on TikTok and be like, oh, yeah, um, the world's about to end today. And everybody's going to believe it. Like, everybody's right. talking about it. And I don't like that you can just say whatever you want on social media and everybody will believe it. Right. I, again, yes. there's a lot of self-diagnosis that happens at this, just in general, just this generation of kids. I agree with you that I love that they talk. But sometimes they may be talking too much, mm -hmm. and it's definitely not 100% informed. Right. They just don't have all the resources. Right. Yeah. Right, right, right. And that's what this is going to bring is the resources. Correct. Interesting. Yes. That is, that's pretty cool. Because we're walking down the right path, but we need... You need the tools. We right. need the tools. That's... I like that. So, when do y'all meet? When is, like, a normal... Yeah, what, is that, what does what that does look like? What does it look like, yeah. I'll answer. <laughs> <laughs> She's like your hype man, but you're the one that's on the mic. Yeah, I got yeah. you. to support you. Yeah. That's right. We meet Mondays during a lunch in the wheelhouse. Oh, yeah. And the wheelhouse is room 601. It's comfy. Okay. Is it always... It's not open. It's not open. So... During certain times. Ms. Cooper, Ms. Gonzalez, and myself use it during anchor time for okay. various groups. And uh, Mr. Rivers does his group. Correct. Room. Okay. Yeah. It's our social emotional room. Okay. For those who have not been inside room 601, is there like every day basically during anchor time there's something? Mm -hmm. Okay. If you ever want to be a part of something, the best place in my opinion in this building to do it is in 601. If you've never been in there, it is, the lighting is adorable. It's beautiful. It's super comfortable. There's a lot of really good spots to sit. There's a lot of positivity in that room. Like, it's just a really, really good spot. There's a bunch of little tools. You have mm -hmm. uh, different uh, things that you can manipulate with, like fidget toys or whatever it is. A bop it. It meets different sensory. An actual bop it? Bop yeah, it? I had brought it, but I was like, oh, they probably don't want to see the bop it. Oh, but I put it back. Oh, so. man. Um, sensory things, you have uh, uh, coloring things, mm -hmm. paper to write, paper, whatever. So there's a lot of things that are like you can put in your toolbox and you have it there and you don't have to go anywhere with it. Right. Sometimes we just need a place because we can't always go outside. Right. So we just need a place to go kind of refocus. Right. I did not know this room existed. Most people don't. I didn't know either. So it's open to students during anchor time. We have access to it as teachers if we want to use it during our off period. Because teachers no offense. Teachers need a space too. No offense to you students. <laughs> Sometimes y'all bit much, and we need relaxation. I used to argue that we should have sleep pods. You know those Google sleep pods that they have in the Google mm -hmm, places? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I think that'd be dope. <laughs> Just a quick look. Before coming here, I would have loved to have been in a sleep pod. Why do they take nap time away from us? Like, I feel oh, like nap girl. Time is so good. Finger painting. You know how fun finger painting is? Look, I think we do so much. This is, this is sort of to the topic. I think we do so much at the elementary age 
and especially like kindergarten that would benefit these kids and I agree with it but it's like after you get out of fifth grade I don't get recess fam why because we don't need breaks like that uh, if anything, you need more breaks. They don't even do that thing all day. They just and they get color. breaks. <laughs> Bro. They, they color take nap time. They they get another recess and. Good on them. You know what they get at FIS? Say it. So you know if you get late, to, like if you're late to school, they give you a second chance to get breakfast. Like here, they're like, you didn't come to school at seven o'clock. Done. No breakfast for you. But damn, they bring it to their class. You know, and they didn't get a habit. And why do they do this? That's pretty cool. Because they understand the importance of having a full belly in order for you to have an active mind. But why don't they do that here? Look, there's a, there, we've had this conversation. What is the number one thing that we would change? What would you change right now if you could change education? Go. School would not start at 7.38. Preach! <laughs> it would also not get out at 3.15 then. It means it gets out later. Which is totally fine. If you, t- okay. G, if I said our start time was 8.30 but you had to be here till 4.30. That's fine. Right. I'm usually here till that time anyway. There's yeah, a reason sure. they have it this way. Like, there's a method to the madness. But it's Hold on. Just not what Hold I on. Hold on. See. Logistics is the reason why they have this. Correct. There's a reason. Right. But that's not... If we're talking, like, what would benefit education, logistics isn't the answer. Why are there starving people? Logistics. We can't ship food everywhere. Well, we can't ship it. That's why we can't do it. It's lame. Like... I understand that you have to, for bus purposes or whatever, I get it. But the stagger times doesn't have to start at 7.30. If we moved them, I hope, Danny Madsen, I hope you hear, I hope you read this or hear this. <laughs> Danny, I love you personally, but we need to change the time. Because it, there's so much research that shows. No, I agree with that. That like, especially as you get older, mm-hmm. your start time doesn't need to go earlier. It actually needs to be later because it just, how sleep patterns happen, whatever. I'm just saying they didn't arbitrarily assign times. I know. But I think they do for de- defending BISD. However, therefore, because of the why, <laughs> I don't have to disagree with that. Yeah. Well, I just, that I mean, I that's would just start it. I would start it later. Right. That's all. That's the number one thing I would do too. If we had the ability to start a little bit later in the high school, high school level, a lot of times, and I'm thinking about this on the socioeconomic side. A lot of times, you have parents who work. And so the person that ends up being the person that has to provide rides is the older person, whoever the older kid is. So if you're a junior in high school and you have a car, you know what I mean? Like, if you started later, you can get your siblings to school at the same time, at the right time, without you being tardy. I know plenty of kids who have had to... So you think, like, as you get older, so FIS should start a little bit before... Yes. ...high school? Elementary should start a little bit before them. You have to stagger because of logistics in the sense of, like, how you get people from one place to another, right? Mm -hmm. Every school district has a limited amount of bus drivers, a limited amount of buses. And because of that transportation need, you have to stagger times. Everybody can't start at 8. It would be chaos. I get that. But we've had this conversation, too. Like, earlier age kids, kindergarten, first, second, third, fourth, or whatever, they can actually function at an earlier time better than a 16, 17, 18 year old kid in high school. Because that's just how a body works, right? In theory, you would need more sleep because of puberty. You need more like just rest time because as you get older, like there's just different things. Your brain develops differently. So if you staggered it to where earlier are the younger kids to later the older kids, in my opinion, we wouldn't have so many discipline issues in first period. We wouldn't have so many tardies during first period. Like there'd be so many more benefits of like starting later. Back me, up, back me up, back me up, LPC. Can't, can't argue with the facts. I mean, no, I agree with that. I'm just saying. No. I already said my thoughts. You know what's something that's <laughs> radical that her and I agree with? Mm. Four day weeks. Four day weeks. Four day weeks. If if you could go to school a little bit more per day, mm-hmm. instead of like an eight hour day, nine hour day, but you could get Fridays off. I would do it. A hundred percent. It's more stressful because some kids, because uh, I I don't have time to go to work on the weekday, so it's right. like oh go to school, go to school, go to school, go to school, and then it's like you get the weekend, but it's like oh you have, I have to have go to work, work all yep. day, and then it's just like it, it's never a break. And then whenever I was on shipmates, I had to go to school, then get out at six, then go to school, then get out at six, and then go to work at nine in the morning, and especially after a football game, getting home at like two, then going back to work at nine. Yeah. And what day do they usually do activities? Friday. So. There's already a percentage of the school that's already absent anyway. Mm-hmm. You could probably say like 10%, 10 to 25% every Friday, football season, whatever season, mm-hmm. kids are out. The entire track team's going to be gone tomorrow. 
So it's softball for most of the day. And mm-hmm. baseball. And baseball. So it's like, everybody's gone on Fridays anyway. Just saying. Is it hard for the teachers when kids aren't there, like when they let them out? Because like, you can't just teach that little group because you're going to have to catch up to other kids. There's days that if I, if my, if let's say I have a classroom with 20 kids and there's only six, I'm not, what? Well, I'm going to have to redo this entire thing on Monday. Mm. I'm, Mr. Wright, if you're watching this on Friday, sometimes if I don't have a lot of kids, I'm, <laughs> I'm watching. I was you know trying I mean? to say nothing about teaching <clears throat> again. Right. No, no, no. I'm just saying because it's difficult. Like, I'm going to do a whole lesson on a Friday when only a quarter of my kids are there and then have to redo the entire lesson. And I know how the kids following, are. You, know like, you didn't even teach me this. You didn't even learn it. So, no. I mean, sometimes you're just like, let's do makeup work. Yeah. We need a makeup work day. Teachers That's don't give us what Fridays would be, too. Fridays would be makeup day. I use this is you'll watch this uh, I guess during spring break maybe or the week after I will honestly tell you that if our, we're coming up on the end of a grading period I don't I try really hard not to assign stuff the week before the grading period is done because it's catch up time we have this thing with this thing we hate it we don't like it yeah man oh man so we're doing a group on Mondays Mondays okay. <laughs> and it, a lunch yes in the wheelhouse. Is anybody... Six Go ahead. We brought you, we brought you on game. <gasps> like a little thing y'all could pick from. Because part what? of it is to have mental health awareness, and we're going to have some stuff out and around campus about that. Oh, you shut Okay, y'all want to show y'all what y'all's options are? This was, this was, planned. Planned. This was uh, not planned. You definitely have. Okay. I'm, so, I'm so happy. I'm so happy. I like gifts. We got some options. While we're doing this, anybody can come? Anybody can come. Uh, probably just send me an email. Because then I can draft you for that time. Her email is? Lauren.Albear at brazoscourtisd.net. Okay. Y'all want to just pick out of here or y'all want to see the options? Wait, what are, put, give me, put the options on the just table. Just put the options yeah, on, the put the options okay, on the okay. the options on the table. Option number one. We do green for which this? Which I really like. Green is mental health awareness. Beautiful. I love green. A little bracelet. A bracelet? I have bracelet. one. I might say they're bracelets. Bop, bop, bop. Um, we have a little mini pop. I don't understand those at all, so I'm not gonna grab them. The oh my goodness! Yeah, I'm just, just not a sorry. thing. So actually, adults use that more in my office. Are you too. serious? Yep. I always grab them, but I always after I do it, I'm like, oh, okay, and then no most worries. people go, "What's the point of this?" Right. <laughs> and then they keep having it in their hand. A lot piece. Okay, we have pencil. Right. You want to do this one? For them. Okay. Yeah. For them only. You only don't get to choose. <gasps> There's only like three of them. <laughs> Stress ball? Nice. And, and you can throw it and play football. I really like this one too. What is that? It's a button. It's a pin. A pin. Oh, it's sir. a pin? My bad. And then we have a little keychain. Lanyards? Or a little. Bro, yeah, I'm yeah. a huge fan of lanyards. I'm gonna have to go Me with too. The this is okay. There's another bracelet if you want a bracelet. She's got more. Yeah. All right. You vote. Oh, yeah. Too tattoos. late. Too late. I already voted. I'm, I'm, taking the, the I'm taking the squishy. Oh, yeah. There's tattoos. Take the take the hey. Okay. <laughs> when is uh, Mental Health Awareness Month? So Mental Health Awareness Month is actually in May. Ooh. But we are starting to get word out now about the group. And then right. we, we have, the group has already started planning a Mental Health Week in May. Nice. Um, so that will be May 9th. How many kids so far do you have that are involved in this Five. group? Five. Five. What, like, let's be real. You can't have, there's no way you can have 300 people, right? But you want people to try it. Yeah, I mean, if it gets too big, then I'll do A and B lunch. Right. Or if it's not for them, it's whatever. Right. It's education, not counseling. Okay. It's not like circles for those that join circles, but it's not guided conversations. It's just more about learning about mental health and how to break the stigma. That's so good. The thing I really liked about Ms. Albert whenever she introduced this to me, um, it was our not getting out of shipmates and I was really stressed. She just like kept um, letting me know that like if this gets successful for you, you don't have to. Like you can take a break and you get to choose what you want to do. Like if it's too successful and she always kept that in mind. I never really met somebody that's like, um, I want you to be involved with something, but I don't want to over push you. Like I've always yeah. known people like when you go into any anything, people are like, You need to give everything your all at all times. And I feel like if you do that all the time, it's going to drain you and you're not right. going to be able to give your all all the time. Yeah. I think... I 100% agree with that. Yeah. I think we need to learn how to say no. I never say no to people. I think saying no at the end of the day can be very beneficial to your mental health. Like when you say yes all the time... It's boundaries. It's you got to learn boundaries. It's healthy. Yeah. We actually talked in the last episode about mentoring and how it's important to have people that... Not only that you can go to to have conversations, but can tell you, like, don't do that. Because sometimes we don't think about that. We think about the hustle. We don't think about the slow and calm and the relax. All right, we're going to end with this. 
I believe everybody has a fair story because everybody's been to the county fair. But if you don't have a fair story, she has a fair story that she can't say out loud. <laughs> but what's a memory? Let's go with memories or things that you've done or seen or thing at the county fair. So last century when I was a child <laughs> <laughs> and they had wristband night on Monday and Tuesday where you got to one price and all the rides you wanted. Right. That's the night I got to go. It was $20. That was a big deal. Oh, yeah. That was a big deal. Back you know another good one? I when they used, chores for that. They used to do the uh, buddy day yeah, where like Wednesdays your buddy night. could ride for free. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I never yeah, seen that, cool. yeah. but I always wanted to go because the fair is where they had the slap bracelets, and, and you had to buy the backpack. coolest and the best. I used Bro, to have a so. lot of slap bracelets. I went in my backpack. A that, cow print one. That's funny. That's awesome. That slap bracelets still go hard. Yeah. I almost bought slap bracelets at Disney World when we went because they had some really cool like cars and Encanto and all this other stuff. Nice. It was cool. Yeah, yeah, slap bracelets went hard. And I don't know why I only bought them. Because then you could show people, like, I went to the fair. I you know? guess. Like, this <laughs> <laughs> You'd be like, you have it straight, and you walk into class like this. Like, themselves were <laughs> That's like when people go to the hospital, and they leave their little hospital thing on for, like, a whole year. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, yeah, oh, I, got, I Yeah, I was in the hospital. Yeah. Do you have a, a memory or a thing that you did at the fair, the county fair? Well, my well, it was the first time I was about to go to the fair by myself. Cause Whoa. Usually, mm. usually my mom goes, and my mom's the type of person, like, she, when she gets hot, she gets irritated. She's like, this is gone. Like, come on, get off. So it was my first time ever going. Um, I was just walking. I don't even know what I did. I just rode the zipper. That's the only ride I like. And um, I seen the fish. The fish looked at me. I seen the fish. I knew it was going to die, but I was like, okay. Like, you yeah, had a moment. <laughs> I got the fish and I got in trouble and it died the next day. Anyways. That's so They're like, they find all of the like elderly fish and yeah. <laughs> into the thing. I got in so much trouble though, just because my phone had died. <laughs> And I was like, oh, well, she knows where I'm at. I got home. No, nope. no, ma'am. But my mom has bad anxiety. Like, if she, we don't text her back, she's like, oh, somebody kidnapped them. Like, she's already driving to Freeport. That's exactly how my mom is. Seriously? Yes. My mom was the opposite my of brother, that. My brother had went to attract me, and his phone had died, and my mom was speeding to Freeport, and she had told me that she seen, like, an 18-wheeler or whatever, and she was just, like, thinking, like, what if that um, guy has my son? What if that guy has my son? I'm like, he's at the track me. Okay, my mom's not that far, but. Yeah. She that's, really, like, she's. That's so good. That's, I got in so much trouble. What you got? This was last year. No. This was last year's. Um, it was my first time, like my without going with my parents, and it, it was it was okay. Uh, fun fact about John: I'm very uh, scared of roller coasters. Really? Hundred. I would have never guessed. I and nobody believed me until they saw me on the first one. It was just a boat that went. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. But I was like on the verge of tears, man. That's I was, so I was funny. like, ah! I didn't like it at all, and. That night, I rode every single roller coaster, and we ended up with one, I think it's called, like, the Rocket or something like that. Yeah. And it's, like, this one that goes this way, but the seat also moves. Right. So you're, like, moving a hundred different ways, and I'm pretty sure I cried. <laughs> I, I, I wondered if my mom heard me because I yelled her name, like, a million times. That's so <laughs> And the, the best funny. part about this entire ride was right after I look across, and I'm not shouting anybody out, but if you're Puerto Rican, you know who I'm talking about. I look over and she looks at me and we make eye contact and she just throws up all over oh! me. <laughs> and, she, and I was like, <laughs> and I'm like I got it like because I had shame, just shame, off. shame. I know your name. And I was That's like, so oh, funny. Yeah, she was like, I don't feel good. <laughs> and I was like, oh no. It was a very fun night. I liked it. You know what the worst ride is? The worst ride, like, it should not even be, like, that one that spins and, like, you get stuck to the wall. Uh, <laughs> that, 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 I always, like, it was okay, like the, I'm gonna like it this time, yeah. and then you get off here, like, my head hurts, like, hey. Yeah. That would not be good for your body. No. It hurts my head so bad. Listen, I'm not saying that the zipper's disgusting, but you know how many people, you, are, you already told me I told this. you that. You the amount of you, they just spray it down. They don't clean it. You think they disinfect that thing? You think I'm worried about that? I'm just trying to have fun for a couple minutes. I guess you're right. You know what happened whenever she threw up? They got a bucket. I'm telling you, and they just like. And then they sweep, sweep, sweep <laughs> and they're like, okay, next people. They don't care. <laughs> okay. I, when I was in high school, a friend of mine, we were like in a group of like 10 dudes, and like just people, it was like 10 of us. And we had the cops around us at the fair because they were convinced my friend had a bomb. Oh my. Okay. So way back in the day, they used to have these things called pull out radios. 
Mm-hmm. Like you would have like a radio in your in your car, and you could pull it out so that for safety purposes, so nobody could do, could steal it, and it just connected in the back. So he had one of those, and he carried it everywhere he went. He was like, I don't want anybody stealing my radio. So he had it, and we we're just like, why? He had it in his hand because it has a little handle. He's like walking, and we're just walking around. We're there for like two hours. Nobody says a thing. Then all of a sudden, like four cops just show up and are just like, we got to report that you had a bomb. And we we're like, what are you talking about? <laughs> We were there for like 45 minutes trying to explain to the cops what exactly he had in his hand and how it reconnected. They didn't want to believe him. And so like we eventually, okay, maybe not. Some people eventually came and was like, no, this is it. Anyway, people came and it was just like trying to explain to the cop. Eventually they let us go and it's like, you know, just make sure you don't take that. And we were just like, the whole purpose of this is safety. Nobody steals your, your radio. That's why you pull it out. That's why you have it in your hands. Anyway, uh, I had an allergic reaction to the hay at the fairgrounds <laughs> once, once in my life, and it never happened again. Like my entire body busted out in hives, and the only place I had been that week was the fair. So I'm pretty certain it was the fair. Mm. That's all I got. All right. Um, I got a little phone. Hey, don't be hating on my phone, fam. Uh, it's a. Le- we, this, this is probably one of our shorter podcasts, but you know what? This was really. I appreciate y'all coming on. There's a lot of information. Some good stuff coming out from B-Port. Yes, yeah, from the LPC and the BPT. The BBT. That's right. Uh, I do want to do a plug for Mental Health Mile. Okay. Yes. <laughs> oh, why didn't we talk about Sponsored that? Go ahead. By. <laughs> Sponsored by. Sponsored the by. Sponsored by Mental Health Mile. Bring change to mind and pals. <laughs> and CIS. Yeah. When is our next? Uh, it's not scheduled yet, but when it comes out, the whole premise and the whole purpose behind that, because you like the why. <laughs> is to be outside, to have a brain break, to be with a buddy, and we usually have a theme surrounding that right. walk so you can discuss it while you're walking. That's cool. And it's just a break into the day. We should it is not hearts. an entire mile that you have to run. Like something No, it's not a home. That's mile. what I thought. Every time they were saying, oh, mental mom, I'm like, I ain't running outside. <laughs> like, I don't run. Like, everybody the, was going outside. I was like, why do I want to run That's for? funny. The very first one we did was over a mile, and it was hot, and it was a bit much. Yeah, it, this one's maybe like half to three quarters. It's, and it's, it's a nice little walk. It's close to a mile by the time you get back. And that's a nice walk. It's a good walk during yeah. anchor time. Listen, people can say what they want about Freeport, awesome. but there's always a nice I love breeze. Freeport. Isn't oh, the good benefits? You get a good little exercise out of it. You get a good little mind break out of it. And you get some head. aguas and usually some sort of a popsicle or There's some sort of a some thing. Kind of treat like ice cream as well. or hot chocolate. I yes, that was, nice. yeah, that was good. Yeah. yeah. So, pay attention when those come out. We will have at least two more before the school year is over. Yeah. And so, just encourage you to do that. Awesome. I don't know when you saw this. When you're watching this, it's either during spring break or after spring break. But if it's during spring break, enjoy your spring break. Plug off, like unplug everything for a day. Just be a normal human being. And if you're uh, under the age of 18 and you're watching this and you're a student, go be a kid. Go play in dirt. Go get a bike. Go get a bike. But don't go in front of cars. Don't, yeah, don't <laughs> stop there. Don't do that. All right, this is good. I appreciate it. All right, All right. close us out. Uh, sign us out. All right. Oh, Peace out, people. <laughs>